So in this video, I'm showing you the rock method where you take your falcon tube and just tip it slightly or rock it slightly over to the side and then bring it back up into a vertical position. What this does is it allows you to watch the wall of droplets run back down the side of the falcon tube and it really is the best check for uniformity of droplet size. So while you're actually running DropSeq through the devices, you want to look at the triangle to make sure that it's not pulsing or flickering. And then, as I've taught you guys, you want to hold the outflow tubing up against the falcon tube that you're collecting into and watch for that steady stream of you know blurry droplets coming down that appear uniform by eye. But when you're all caught up in the experiment and things might be kind of cramped in your setup, it's difficult to really tell for sure if your droplets are uniform. So the rock method really does seem to be the best way to do this. You can check it quickly partway through the run once you've accumulated enough droplets in your falcon tube to do this with. You can just lift it up slightly while the run is still going, gently rock it to the side so that you can watch the droplets run down, and it's just a nicer way to visualize how successful your droplet generation is going.